T-minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And let's uh, go fly, fly, go ice base, go south. Vehicles pitching downrange. Plus 30 seconds into Launch Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center. Now the vehicle is going vertically, but it will begin to move horizontally. We're going to gimbal, gimbal Falcon those. Falcon 9 power and telemetry are nominal. We're going to gimbal those engines. Uh, we're still going up, but now. Engine air pressure is nominal. Now vehicle we is supersonic. We'll be moving horizontally, and that helps the vehicle get into orbit and avoid being pulling, pulled back down to Earth. And we are coming up on max Q. This is the largest structural load that the vehicle will see during ascent. Max Q. There's that call out. We've passed through max Q. And we do have a few events coming up in quick succession. That'll be Miko, stage separation, and SES-1. Miko is main engine cutoff, and that's where we will shut down all nine of those M1D engines that you see there burning bright on your screen. That prepares the vehicle for stage separation. That's when, the, that's when the first and second stages separate from each other, and the first stage will begin to make its way back down to Earth, while the second stage carries the payloads and continues with its journey with SES-1, or second stage engine start one. And that's where we will ignite the MVAC engine on the second stage. And shortly afterwards, we'll, we will have SECO where the vehicle will coast. So we are coming up on those three events that I just mentioned, MECO, stage separation, and SES-1 in just about 20 seconds from now. Some really cool tracking views here of Falcon 9 and those nine Merlin M1D engines burning bright there. Miko, stage separation confirmed. And recognition. And great views. We, we watched as we shut down those nine Merlin M1D engines, stage separation, and now you can see there on your screen that MVAC engine has ignited, again, carrying the two lunar landers aboard Falcon 9's second stage. And there on your left-hand screen, you can see that the first stage is deploying its grid fins. Those hypersonic grid fins will help guide the vehicle back down to Earth. And in about 15 seconds or so, we will also have fairing deploy. We have the fairing protecting the payloads through ascent. But once we're in the vacuum of space, we no longer need that protection, so we will jettison those fairing halves. Fairing separation confirmed. And a really cool view of the payloads encapsulated in those fairing halves, the fairing halves deploying. We will once again attempt to retrieve these fairing halves once they make their way back down to Earth. And in a few minutes, we will also have a couple more burns for our first stage to pre prepare it for landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions. Now we are T plus four minutes and 10 seconds into today's mission. We're currently in the first of three planned MVAC burns. Around T plus six minutes, you should see on your screen the first stage's entry burn. Now that entry burn is where we ignite three of the Merlin M1D engines, and that's going to be the E9 engine plus the E1 and E5 engines. Now that helps slow the vehicle down as it's re-entering back into the Earth's atmosphere. Now, the reason why we slow down the vehicle is to reduce the re-entry forces. 
which helps us recover and reuse the first stage booster. So far, everything is looking nominal. Stage two, still carrying our lunar payload and on a nominal trajectory. Now again, the first stage vehicle is making its way back down to Earth. We're about 45 seconds away from the entry burn beginning. And just as a reminder, the first stage booster that is supporting today's mission will perform this entry burn for the fifth time. Falcon 9 is the world's first orbital class rocket, reusable rocket, and this is important because reusable Reusability allows SpaceX to refly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. So we do have that entry burn coming up just about 10 seconds. Again, that will be three engines reigniting for just about 20 seconds or so. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one, FTS is saved. There's that call out and on your left hand screen, you can see that those engines have ignited. Again, helping to slow down the Falcon 9 booster as it's making its way back down to Earth. Stage one entry burn shut down. And there we heard the call out as well. As you can see that the engines have shut down. That concludes the entry burn for the Falcon booster. Coming up next in about one minute will be SECO. That is second stage engine cutoff. And that'll basically be where we shut down that MVAC engine and allow the second stage to coast with the payloads. Stage two is in terminal guidance. As the vehicle is making its way towards its targeted drop off or orbit for each of the lunar landers. And just shortly after we have SECO, we'll also have the landing burn startup on the booster. So we will have a, a couple of events happening back to back. Stage two, FTS is safe. Stage the one, one transonic. For the landing burn, we reignite the center E9 engine. And again, that slows the vehicle down just in time to touch down for landing. And we have Seco one coming up as well as a landing burn in just a few seconds. Seco. Stage one landing burn. Nominal orbit insertion. And a cool view of first stage, touching down for landing. Landing leg deployed. Stage one landing confirmed. And there you could see on your screen, the Falcon has landed. i um, just read the instructions. That marks SpaceX's 398th recovery of an orbital class rocket, and that includes first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy.